Hey all, we're back and now this is part three of the video updating and installing HayZap leaderboards for Superbug Killer on Android. So what we did just a moment ago is we were just testing out the ads and trying to get them to work and, and be in the right position. I've actually just set up a um, the game on, on this, this other device here which is a Sony Xperia and the ads seem to be working pretty well as well like the position is good they're sort of in the top right here. If I click on play it should appear there we go so that's that's sort of more central and and um, you know we're, we're more likely to get a couple more taps up there which is which is good you know without making it a bad user experience or without making it too bad for for the ad network you know by getting like irrelevant clicks you know or it's not hovering over a button or in the middle of the screen or anything like that so that's a good thing and we just want to test test out the leaderboard so I'm Quickly playing through here, I'm just going to die quickly and test out these leaderboards in this on this device as well. So personal best is 670, and I think we've not actually got the pop up just yet. We've not got the face pop up just yet, but personal best. If I if I view the full leaderboards, then that might connect us because we're actually using the same user ID on this device as well. So that's 807 on there, and it probably, because it's got two devices listed, it might not be, uh, how can you say, it might be seeing one high score on one device and then a lower score on another device, so it doesn't know which one is meant to be higher, something like that, because it's two devices with one single sign-in ID. But I think so far it's, it's looking okay, I don't think that'll be a big problem, because most of the users are only going to use a single device. Uh, to play to play their games on, they probably won't be signing into multiple devices. So I'll just click the leaderboards in the main menu screen, and this gives us the full the full menu there. So 807, which is correct. Let's go back. I'm going to click on check in as well, which shows this page here with the text that we put in, plus the high score 670. Check in. And so this is the user actively, you know, trying to spread the word about their games and tell their friends about what they're playing. So return to game. And I think we're pretty good. I'm just tapping on the killer shooting sniper X icon here. It's loading the Google Play Market. And yeah, that's popped up as you can see. So this seems to all be working pretty well. The main thing that I wanted to really just test was if there was any bugs happening, but also to test the ads as well appearing in the game. Because with different resolution devices, what happens sometimes is if the ad is off the screen here, say to the right, it won't appear at all. So be careful with that, guys. Uh, most of the new AdMob SDKs or some other, say, AdMob like uh, ad, ad networks like uh, MoPub, we use Prime 31 for both of those ad networks, and they have like a smart uh, ad banner. So you can just say, oh, stick it in the top right, the top left, the bottom left, the bottom right, or whatever. And it'll just snap to those positions. You don't have to go in like messing around calculating like I was just doing before. So I might do a separate video on that one as well because I think uh, having ads and being able to rotate through the different ad networks is pretty important. And I've experimented with that a little bit. So hopefully I'll be able to do some more. So we're looking pretty good here, guys. I, th I think we're good to go. and We're good to update. So I just tapped on the rate rate the game button which has shown the the Google Play market and the Superbook Killer listing on there. All right. So I think I think we're all right. So what I'm going to do is I actually uploaded uh, I actually loaded my uh, Android developer site before and I came into Superbook Killer so that we're ready to update this. Now everything is is pretty much as it should be in here. I think the only thing we want to update is just the recent changes and I'm going to highlight this star here copy and paste because stars always look good for games so added um, now with haze app leaderboards all right challenge your friends show the world your highest scores um, just say download this latest update update today so a call to action you know get the latest one it's cool it's super awesome you know obviously we could do better with that description and, and I'll update that later everything else here is just the same as it should be before and I've not done a develop an Android developer portal update Android developer 
video before, but I, I did I did finish one the other day, but I've not added it to the YouTube channel yet, and that was a, a video on how to get a Android developer account. I'll update that one soon, guys. The reason I've not updated it so fast is because it's got some personal information like credit card details, and I have to blur out all that stuff, and so I'm just trying to get around to actually doing that. If I click on APK files here, we want to update, so I'm going to up upload an APK, choose the file, and I need to find this in the projects, so fly slice, Android builds, this is the latest one. I'm checking the time that we actually built this, which was today at 17.53. You can see I've named here the APK as well, fly slice version 6, Superbug, Star Sword added, Haze up leaderboards. So I usually I do that with our APKs because uh, it, sometimes if you if you want to separate them out for different markets or you want to know which functionality is in which one, it's much easier just to type in the name of it uh, when you build it through Unity rather than push it to the device and then check on the device what it's got. It makes things a lot lot easier. So hopefully this will start to upload in a second. Uh, like I mentioned, my internet is still being super slow at the moment. So uh, but hopefully this will be okay. And, but whilst this is whilst we're sort of waiting for this, I'll, I'll just like recap what we did before, guys, and I'll go back into Unity because uh, we can kind of wrap things up here now, and hopefully you guys have picked something up. So, if I remember correctly, the first thing to do is uh, go to the assets, import the package, custom package, then find your HazeApp SDK, and remember we got the HazeApp SDK from HazeApp.com a developer.hazeapp.com and you can download that for free. You just have to sign up as a user, sign up as a developer, sign in and then download the SDK and that's all free. Then go into Unity SDK, Hazeapp Unity package, click open. All right, now this is different here now because I've already installed it but you'll get a big list of things here and you just click import. Remember, take a screenshot of this if you're, if you want to make sure if you need to delete things out make sure you take a screenshot so that you know what files were installed or if you're using a new project then you can if you've copied and created a new folder with the project then that's a safer way to do it in case there is any problems uh, then you can just go back to the original project okay so you click import and remember in the developer portal you also have to get your name in there as well so you have to sign in uh, to the developer portal go to your dashboard and then claim your game by entering the bundle ID from the Google Play Market, so it might be com dot game company dot our great game or whatever it is. Click on claim, and then you can start to add leaderboards to that. Then in the main game, the main thing that we did was go to the game over function, and in this case, this is our, our game over function that is called when it's game over. And you want to insert the submit score here. So haze up lib submit score. The score that the player just got, not the high score, you don't have to enter the high score because Hazeup will take care of that. And the score that you want to appear, now you could say 600 points, 600 coins, 500 seconds. In this case, we're just entering the raw number, okay? And then the leaderboard ID, okay, at the end there is a string. And that that's all you have to do for the leaderboards, you know? The other thing that we did, and you probably want to do this as well, is actually have a button to show the leaderboards at any point. And we did this in the main menu here. So we added a leaderboard button. The leaderboard button has a box collider on it so that the user can tap it. And in the general scripts, or in any scripts that you guys want to use, all we've got is on the leaderboard button, we've got hazeapplib.show leaderboard, okay? And for the hazeapp button, which is this one here, this is the check-in button. Remember, users can just want to tell their friends, hey, I'm playing this game at the moment. Then it's hazablib.checkin, and you could just close it there and do like this. Or what we've done is, and I recommend this, is adding a message in there and saying, hey, check out my score, I think you can beat me, ha ha ha, or I'm the best, you know, come and get me, whatever it may be, okay? And that was pretty much it. You don't need any kind of user ID for this or, or game ID, which is really cool. And this was integrated so fast. Uh, you know, I think this only took us a couple of hours here and not much at all. And my my APK, probably because of my internet connection, is, is taking a long time to actually get 
uh, to actually install right now. So I'm going to do this off camera. This is this is a separate thing altogether. So don't worry about if you're not seeing this right now. And but you know once once the game is updated and you've got a new version, then you can push that to the Google Play Market or any other market like Slide ME or um, you know to GetJar or something like that. I think as far as I'm aware, the Hayes app uh, community. The Hayes app players only can download games from the Google Play Market, by the way. So if you do upload to another market, say like SlideME, then be aware you might not be able to connect Hayes app to that. Uh, but I think it's mainly Google Play. I'm not sure, but you'll need to check out. But for now, guys, you know, um, I hope this was useful. I hope you I hope you also integrate Hayes app into your games as it seems to be a very cool game social network. I think Open Faint has now uh, closed their leaderboards, and so you know it's, it, we need some other leaderboard functionality in there. I, I do recommend Haze App, and it's a great way to get your games viral and out there, and people talking about it and people challenging it. Uh, as always, you know, uh, please download the game. Come and challenge me as well. Um, the the actual user that we've got on Haze App is uh, a, a Mickey Tai. Uh, that's uh, you can add me. This is actually my wife's name, a Chinese name, so it's a Mickey Tai killer. Shooting sniper X girl, yeah, that's cross promotion stuff as you can see. That's not obviously her name, but if you do find us on there, come and come and challenge us as well. See see who can do the best. Of course, um, you know as always, guys, please download the game and please rate it. Uh, Super Bug Killer is on iPhone and on Android now, as you've just seen, and it's awesome to get your ratings. And please comment. I, I did see some of the some more of the comments recently, and I always read them, and I, I'll try to respond to them, and or at least reply by doing a video request you know a video from what you guys have requested and and you know just so you know I am always reading those and I want to thank you for all your comments all the messages saying that you know you're enjoying the video because that really really supports us as well so anyway but for now guys have a great weekend um we're actually past the weekend now we're on a we're on a Monday so have a great week anyway and I hope to catch up with you all soon all right happy developing bye bye